Hey movie junkies, welcome back to Twin Flicks. We always here celebrating the magic of movies and most importantly, physical media with you. Coming up, I have Red Eye from Paramount Pictures. Um, you know, we know about Paramount Pictures. Sometimes they do a really good job. Sometimes their 4Ks look like warm doggy poo on the sidewalk in 90 degree weather. Um, so we're going to find out which one this which side this falls on. And I have a lot more reviews and 4K comparisons coming up. And so to stay up to date with all the reviews and 4K comparisons, if you haven't yet, consider hitting that subscribe button. And when you do, don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when the new videos drop. But I've been really excited about this uh, review today because Paramount Pictures has finally released from 1981 Dragon Slayer on 4K UHD, and I chose to pick up this steel book. First, let's zoom in here and take a look at this beautiful artwork with this steel book. I mean, that's just gorgeous. I love it. Uh, inside, there isn't much in there except for, in the Dark Ages, magic was a weapon. And some quotes from the film. And also the slip cover has some nice newly commissioned artwork as well. I love it. All right, guys, so we're going to dive into Dragon Slayer, which was restored in 4K from the original 35mm negative, forming a new native 4K DI with the added benefits of HDR and Dolby Vision grading. And it also maintains the accurate aspect ratio of 2.39 to 1. All right, guys, so let's get into it. Dragon Slayer 4K UHD. Now, if you know someone who thinks 4K is a gimmick, we all know that person. Then show them this 4K, because Dragon Slayer on 4K UHD absolutely proves what 4K can do. In fact, the colors aren't just terrific looking, but also corrected, where fire from the sorcerer during his funeral and inside the dragon's lair in the water almost looked a, a white yellow from previous releases. Paramount brought this back to its intended color making the fire its intended green. This is an absolutely phenomenal 4K UHD presentation from Paramount. The first thing I noticed right away was the cleanup job. The restoration team went in and cleaned up the image from head to toe, and it's obvious, while still staying faithful to the source material, meaning grain management was not used, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. The colors are tonally balanced and deliation with primaries look terrific. The HDR and Dolby Vision grading really opens up the color gamut much wider. Now granted this film was never meant to have bright rainbow sunshine color palette. It leans more towards browns, grays, uh, tans, earthy tones to match the era and the location where the film takes place. That said, there are still very nice splashes of color that looks richer, bolder, and more lifelike. The orange, uh, yellow fires and torches in the in and around the camps really ignite the screen. And the fire from the dragon are deep, vibrant, richy, saturated orange yellow now, with even a slight glow to the fire that ignites the screen. It's very vibrant with a lot of power behind it, while never looking artificially boosted or saturated. The HDR Dolby Vision grading only enhances what's already there. They'll really come to life. Now, a lot of the film takes place at night or under low light or dim areas, and I was really curious how well uh, this UHD would handle those, those areas. And the higher contrast levels really helps to balance out these scenes. Highlights are also handled much better, and skin tones are warm and natural and consistent throughout, unlike the pale skin tones from previous releases. A very nice reference point with this 4K is with the exceptional black levels. We have those nice, deep, inky blacks and deep, natural, velvety shadows and shading that really elevates the image and consistently penetrates deep into the screen, drawing out more information in the image, and all the little details, texturals, and even colors. The black levels really draw that out, even in the darkest spaces of the frame. And I found zero crushing anywhere in the image. There is also more vivid, true-to-life whites that are crisper and brighter, with zero blooming issues, even in the hot spots. 
But a real treat with this UHD is the amount of details and texturals throughout. And they are on full display with very crisp image and higher resolution, giving an incredible amount of visible detail in facial textures, hair, stitching of clothing. Uh, Close-ups are sharp and clear. Background information is visible, giving fantastic clarity with detail and activity. However, the best part of this transfer is within the entire Dragon's Lair sequence. It's breathtaking and gives a very eerie atmosphere to it. We also see all the leftover bones and skulls that are clearly visible even in the darkest corners. This transfer just pops with visible activity in the background and foreground from start to finish. There is also plenty of depth here and three-dimensionality with every frame, giving the film a grander scope than I've ever seen it before. Dragon Slayer finally feels its epic scope. And thankfully, Paramount did not use any grain management here, meaning no DNR scrubbing was used with this release. We have a very healthy, thin layer of grain that's very consistent throughout, giving an enriching filmic appearance. All right, now let's dig into the audio. Not only did we finally get a desperately needed new facelift with the video transfer, but we also have a desperately needed new Dolby Atmos mix that was sourced from the original four track. The Atmos mix is an extremely immersive and active heavy track. The use of overhead sound objects and high channels completely opens up the sound stage, elevating the detail and dynamic range with excellent low frequency. From debris falling, uh, echoes of voices, the dragon's wings flapping and flying, and plenty of destruction that gives you a completely immersive experience. Composer Alex Norse Oscar-nominated score ignites with strong acoustics and fidelity and a very powerful presence. Now, if you've seen Dragon Slayer before, then you already know the film is loaded to the brim with various atmospheric and off-screen sound effects. And this Atmos track takes full advantage of the effects with excellent discrete object-based placement and layering. But one of the best parts is in the dragon lair and also when the dragon attacks. You hear the dragon flying and swooping with a lot of force behind it, going from the front channels to the surround channels and the overhead channels. The mix also has a tremendous amount of depth and engagement. The subwoofer comes in rumbling with some nice deep bass attacks during the dragon attack sequences. Dialogue is rendered crystal clear with no distortion and music nor sound effects ever drown out the dialogue. All right, so my score for Paramount Pictures 4K UHD presentation of Dragon Slayer, I'm giving it a resounding five out of five for video and audio. But now I'm really curious. I want to hear from you. I want to know your opinion on this. Between the two formats here, the DVD and the new 4K UHD, which do you think looked better? Head over to the comment section and let me know. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes here and talking about Dragon Slayer 4K UHD. This is definitely one to pick up. As always, keep doing your part in keeping physical media alive. I'll see you next time.